Good morning from Kusica, Slovakia. I'm just about to head out of my hotel here. I'm thinking of staying in Kusica for another night. By the time I'm done my sightseeing, the idea of packing everything up, taking a train to the mountains, finding my accommodation there just seems like a lot of work. So uh, it's probably better I go check into another hotel. I'm gonna go check out the local Hilton today. So it is quite hilly terrain in this area of Slovakia. So we're just about 50 kilometers or so, I believe, maybe 100 from the border with Ukraine. There's definitely a lot of poverty or social issues here that you can see pretty much around every corner. There's graffiti and tagging, a problem on pretty much every building that I've walked by so far. It looks like it's a little bit down and out for sure. So there's definitely some really beautiful architecture in Košice. And it's pretty bustling and happening on this Sunday morning. So just about 11 o'clock in the morning and the pedestrian streets beginning to get quite packed. But I believe that's because the marathon is happening today. So the Košice Marathon is one of Europe's most famous marathons. It happens once a year, every year for the past almost 100 years. So the marathon is going on ahead just in front of me here. You can see the runners coming around the curve and going down the adjacent street. Lots of people enjoying the summer weather today. I was calling for rain and I'm pleasantly surprised with the weather today. All right, I'm checking into the Double Tree by Hilton. This is the nicest hotel in Kojitsa. It runs about 90 US dollars per night. So this is my eighth floor king suite at the Double Tree by Hilton in Kojitsa, Slovakia. You can see the coffee station. That's pretty standard. Interesting and modern art on the wall. Desk area. And then entering the bedroom, you can see there's a nice big king bed. Washroom is fairly large, actually. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a room that overlooks the city's main street, which is probably a good thing considering the marathon that's happening in town right now. But you can see that it's a fairly flat city with some hills around the area, but nothing like the mountains north of here in the Tatras. That's pretty much it. This is worth 90 US dollars per night, including tax. The suite itself is probably more like 150, but I received it free with my Hilton Gold status. So there's a wonderful view over the city of Košice from the hotel hallway here outside of my room. So you can see there in the distance is St. Elizabeth's Cathedral with the foothills of the Tatras Mountains, part of the Carpathian Range in the background. St. Elizabeth's Cathedral, which you can see right here in front of me, is the easternmost Gothic style cathedral in all of Europe. So this is pretty much the edge of Gothic architecture in Europe. So east of here, you'll only find your typical Ukrainian slash Russian Orthodox churches in the Byzantine style. So this very impressive structure here is St. Andrew's Chapel. It's right next to the Gothic St. Elizabeth's Cathedral. Really beautiful stone reliefs on this. So this was built in the 14th century. So this city is largely a 1300s city, around the time of the Black Death, actually. And right next to it, you can see the beautiful St. Elizabeth's Cathedral. I'm gonna go check out the tower on the other side here in a second, but beautiful Gothic architecture. And this is the pedestrianized main street here in Košice. So every single car in the city is not allowed to come down here, only tram service. You can see the pedestrians walking along the street. There's ca outdoor cafes, alfresco dining, and so forth. It does feel truly like summer here, even though it is October the 4th, 2020 today. 
So I'm lucking out in terms of weather, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Just a flurry of pigeons. Again, this is definitely one of Europe's most beautiful churches overall. The biggest slum in Europe is here in Košice. So just outside of the city is a place called Lunik 9, and it is home to about 10,000 uh, gypsies, Romani people. So they live in very disgusting conditions just outside of the city. There's heaps of garbage along the buildings. I'm debating whether or not I'll go down there and check it out because it is kind of a urban attraction. It is a beautiful day here in Košice. It's probably about 22 degrees. It's very neutral weather. There's not any breeze. It's not really hot. It's not really cold. This is called the singing fountain because of the music that plays around it. It's a pretty beautiful sight. And that right behind it is the State Theater. So many flowers still in bloom as well right now around Kushitsa. And I have not really seen evidence of the leaves turning that much yet. They seem pretty green still here in this part of Europe. This is the very, very impressive State Theater of Slovakia. Very classical architecture. See little heads above the entrances and the mock columns there in the very front. So you can see there are a variety of historic buildings along this route. Each one of them is pretty well preserved. And looking back over here, you can see the singing fountain and a very nice view of St. Elizabeth's Cathedral Tower in the distance. Definitely getting a little bit seedy out on the streets here. I'm getting accosted by homeless people every few yards that I walk down the street. So um, there was a guy dumpster diving in this garbage can just a few minutes ago. So there's a lot of destitute individuals in this city. So I don't necessarily feel unsafe here or anything like that. I think it's safe enough. I think there's stern consequences and penalties for those who would be snatch and grab thieves and so forth. But they are aggressive panhandlers, so just be warned if you come to Košice. Going to see this impressive statue here in the center of Main Street. So this is called the Sculpture Immaculata. And it is a sculpture that was created in 1709 to honor the Virgin Mary and thank her for ending the plague that hit this city in 1709 to 1710. So this is a Renaissance sculpture that is incredibly well preserved. It's a bit hard to see with the sun setting so quickly, but it is a very impressive sculpture. Really beautiful setting here at dusk. You can see the State Theater there is starting to darken down a little bit. Lavochka house behind there and the Immaculata sculpture. So here's looking down to the words the north end of Old Town. That's pretty much the end of it there at the very end of the road. But a very splendid Old Town district here in Košice. Definitely recommend stopping through here if you ever find yourself in the area. I guess I wouldn't base an entire vacation on it of course but it is a nice pit stop if you're traveling through, for sure. Well, there are some simply incredible views of St. Elizabeth's Cathedral as the sun begins to set. They illuminate it at night. It's very outstanding. You can see mass is going on right now as we speak, but the door is crowded, so I'm not gonna go over there and check out the mass at this point. Just check out that tower. 14th century Gothic tower. That's incredible. Definitely enjoying my time in Slovakia's second city. So again, this is the second largest city in Slovakia with a quarter million people. 
located just about 100 kilometers shy of the Ukrainian border. The lighting here is definitely spectacular at night. So you can see my hotel down there. That's the Double Tree by Hilton on the horizon behind those buildings in the foreground. I'm gonna go try out this beer restaurant here for a pint of Slovakian beer. So it's Pivoteca and Vinoteca, so beer and wine restaurant. So I'm trying this Slovakian lager now, just on the Old Town Square, about two blocks from my hotel. And there's a lot of live entertainment here in the square, a lot of buskers showing up to perform. Decent. It's a lager, so it's a bit lighter than I'm used to. I mean, more of an IPA drinker, so it's okay though. It's very similar to Czech beer. It's very good. So Košice is definitely a beautiful, beautiful city at night, as you can see. So I love the way that the Košice City Council has decided to light up their churches and everything else at night. It's very beautiful here. So I'm probably gonna head back soon. So this is the original church bell by the looks of it. It is pretty worse for wear. You can see that it's got quite a few cracks all over its surface and it's been repaired. However, they have maintained it on display here. So it's really cool. Hard to see at night though. And again, the beautiful, beautiful St. Catherine's Cathedral. This is by far the highlight of Košice. That tower is something else. So I'm enjoying another great breakfast buffet here at the Hilton. So I'm on my way right now to Lunik 9, which is the largest slum in Europe. So um, the people there live in extreme poverty. So I'm going to go at least see what it's like. You don't often expect poverty in Europe. Should be interesting. So that's the school down there for the Lunik 9 kids. Dirty. These are no Yeah. All right, we're gonna get out of here. That was something else. All right, back in the city center of Pachitsa. Well, that was absolutely depressing. I'm glad I went though. It was about a 10 euro cab ride, so I didn't have any chance to stop and actually walk around there. And to be honest with you, the locals were not necessarily welcoming to us, so. I know that Bald and Bankrupt in his blog, he had a really good experience there. And it looks like they were having a lot of fun, but I think it might be because he had a local contact that they expected, I'm not sure. But they were actively aggressive towards us and chased down the taxi at one point. Did not look like we were in for a safe experience there. So we got out of there pretty quick. I'm glad I went. I mean, it was good to see, you know, that such poverty actually exists in Europe. You wouldn't expect that on this continent. It's such a kind of pristine place that you don't expect to see that in this part of the world. It looked like the worst of India driving around some parts of that. So um, anyway, if you ever come to Košice, I mean, go check it out. It's something to be seen for sure. So this is the Dominican church here in the old town of Košice. Nice little open air market here selling flowers on this 
October morning. Not much going on right now. I think they're closing down by the looks of it. And some protected stained glass windows here. They must have a problem with vandalism. In the old Dominican church. And I am going to be heading back towards the main square now, which is just down this short street, towards St. Elizabeth's Cathedral once again. All right, so here is St. Elizabeth's. Absolutely beautiful angle here too. Really dominates the end of the street there. Really cool vantage point here. It is a dreary day outside, so it kind of matches the gothic exterior. I start to head back towards the hotel here in a few to pack up and head out of town. So my hotel is right there, the tower in the distance. Really beautiful day, the sun is finally coming out, so. So there's really accommodating staff at the Doubletree by Hilton. They extended my stay until 3 p.m., giving me enough time to explore the city and go out to Lunik 9 during the day, and then return here to pick up my baggage get to the train station and then head towards High Tatras. So this is the Double Tree by Hilton in Košice, Slovakia. So I redeemed points to stay here, otherwise it would be about 100 euros per night. All right, after a depressing trip to Lunik 9, where I could not believe that anybody in Europe can be living in those poor conditions. I'm ready to head out of Kushitsa. I want to go to Spies Castle first. It's kind of halfway between here and Tatri. So I'm going to go there probably for the night, try to find a place close by where I can go explore the castle, and then pretty much devote all of Wednesday, Thursday to the Tatra Mountains. So I've just made it here to the Kushitsa bus terminal. I'm going to get a bus to Spies Castle, or Spitsi Podrahi. The village located right there where I booked a hotel for the night. You can see the train station here to the left. I'm going to rush though because the bus leaves in five minutes. I've arrived in the town of Spiski Podrahi. I'm going to spend the night here and explore the Spis Castle on the top of the hill tomorrow. Well, I made it to my guest house here at the pension Podzamok, where I'm going to spend the night before exploring the castle tomorrow. Cute. So I've just checked into the Podzamok pension guest house here in Spiski Podrahi, Slovakia. This room cost me 31 euros, so just about 50 Canadian dollars. It does look a bit sparse, but that's to be expected with a small pension. But you can see out the window, I have an amazing view of the castle, so very beautiful. Some incredible views of Spitz Castle here in the evening. In the evening, they shine lights right on the castle, so it's very beautiful right now. And that's the moon there, the full moon on the left. So I gotta climb this entire hill tomorrow, that's the plan, so it is a pretty stunning castle though. <laughs> 